It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at Lidl's Wagyu Beef Burgers. This is the first time I will be trying a Wagyu Beef Burger. Never had one of these before. I've had some... It's not very good. I've had some... Um, what are they called? Wagyu jerky stuff and that was really good. So the burgers are quite substantial. Look at these, look at this. Look at that for a burger. That's a fair old size. I'm just gonna I'm just basically showing you, but I'm just gonna put it back there in a moment. Um we got the griddle pan. We're gonna get this on the stove. Get it. Get that nice and hot, and then get this Wagyu burger on, give it a cook, see what it's like. Okay, so here we go. The skillet is really hot. There you go. Sizzling away nicely. Right, so I'm going to grab a pair of tongs for this one. Cook it up and then get it eaten. Okay, it's smoky in the kitchen. Let's turn this griddle off. Now, I've tried this a couple of times. I cooked the burger for 15 minutes. The last couple of minutes, put some cheese on the top. I can't get, for love nor money, I can't get the cheese to melt properly. And you think if you stuck it on a boiling hot griddle pan like this, on top of a burger, then, I'm just gonna chuck that over there in a minute then you'd have no problem. God, that burger's smoked the kitchen out. You'd have no problem in melting it, but kind of gone a little bit on the corners, look. It's a bit of strong cheddar. Um, the burger looks, yeah, that looks pretty amazing. I punched it down a bit. We got some uh, Hellman's uh, chili mayonnaise to get on it as well. This should be pretty good. Look at that. Wagyu chili cheeseburger, eh? So I've never had Wagyu before. As I mentioned. Oh, the sauce is on the bottom, it's upside down. <laughs> never mind. It's a... Uh, it's a breed of cow, I read it on Wikipedia, it's a breed of cow where they used to feed it grass and then they changed it up a bit in Japan and they started giving it feed and the cows got like really big and fat. Apparently, that's what I read on Wikipedia, I, I don't know. Apparently the burgers are the really expensive burgers so I was surprised to see these in Lidl. They were £2.99 for a pack of two, so £1.50 a burger. Let's dive into it, see what it's like. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh! That, the meat's really, really tender. Mmm. Very tender. I probably would have liked to have properly kind of grilled the cheese, melted the cheese somehow. It's a bit like the cheese in a cheese sandwich. Bit of a mess up on my part, but um, the Wagyu's good. 
the, the beef burger, that's why you're all here to watch the Wagyu. Well, hopefully anyway. Um, that's, that's really tasty, really tender. Mmm. That's a look at it. It was a giant burger. It must have been a quarter pounder. Maybe a half pounder. Let's get out the fridge. So they 340 grams, 150, that's 170 grams, 170 grams of burger. So what does that make? Quarter pounder, half pounder? They're pretty big, look at them. Mmm. It's the only fight the only thing I find with the the griddle pan. We'll put that extractor fan on. But it's still it's still not enough to take all of the I'm looking I'm looking through the house and it's like a a mist of of, <laughs> of smoke on the all the way through the downstairs. My goodness me. Mmm. It's good though. It's really good. The cheese is melting a bit now as well. Chili mayonnaise is coming through, a little bit of spice in there. But yeah, looking at that beef, that is I bought plenty. You've seen me doing the reviews from Lidl's previously of their burgers. Uh, this is the best. This is the best burger so far. Easily, easily the best burger. This Wagyu was incredible. It looks like a job to get through. It really does look, that looks a right job. You know, like you're chewing and, but it's beautifully tender. Even though I've given a, a right good rollicking on the, on the grill pan, it's still really tender. If you like your burgers a little bit more medium rare, then it'd probably be even more tender. Hmm, very good. Very good, very good, I like that. Always heard of it, Wagyu. I had the Wagyu jerky stuff um, a few months back and that was incredible. But to try the Wagyu in a beef burger, well. Mmm. It's good. Really good. Okay, so let's rate it. Let's rate this burger. Mm. I'm glad I added some cheese or mayonnaise and mayonnaise. <clears throat> Normally I do the, these food reviews, these burger reviews as just a plain burger in a roll. And I have lots of people asking me, why are you just doing a burger in a roll? And the answer is just to give you a review of the meat. That's why you're all here. But um, a lot of you want me to add cheese and mayo and all sorts of different things. Lettuce and stuff to the burger. Um, I'm glad I have. It's really added something to the burger. It's really tasty. I'm quite lazy when it comes to cooking. I'll just put a burger in the grill and... Just chuck it in a bread roll and just eat it with some brown sauce or something. That's what I'll normally do. But yeah, making a little bit of effort with some chili mayo and some cheese. 
strong cheddar cheese. It's really nice. It's a really nice burger. I strongly suggest you go and try these Wagyu burgers from Lidl. Two ninety nine for two. I picked them up Thursday the oh, was it something like the first or the second of December. I can't remember what what date Thursday was now. But I like them enough to give them. They're really good. A nine out of ten. Nine out of ten from really real ill craft beer. Very very. Well, it's definitely worth the money. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Boom. I'll try to get that. I'll try to hold that back. Boom. Cheers.